What's up guys, The Other Game here and welcome to another Saturday morning bonus video. Today we'll be unboxing the Alesis Multi-Mix 4 USB Digital Audio Interface. So this is a 4 channel interface that's great for podcasting, video, editing, all that kind of sort of good stuff. The box itself is actually pretty nice, it's very nicely printed here. But that really doesn't matter to me too much. Let's see what's inside here. Now this audio interface is a 16-bit stereo 44.1 kilohertz digi digital audio over USB. Let's see, is there anything else? Yes, there is. Let's see what else is in here. We've got instructions manual. And we'll just kind of give this a shake here. Oh, that was really stuck in there. No, that's what she said needed. All right, there's also this little bit here, which comes with your USB A to B cable there. And a box within a box. Let's see what's in this one here. This looks like your power cable here. So we'll set these two aside here. This looks like an instructions manual, pretty thin actually. Um, how to set it up, all that kind of stuff. So we'll set this here off to the side as well. But the main attraction, let's get this guy open and see what it's looking like. I'm actually really excited. So, all right. And we'll pop that bubble wrap later. Here we go, let's just slide this out. So the first thing about this board is it's all metal construction very very nicely done very nice finish um, I've heard that the knobs are a little bit weird um, they're plastic they don't seem too bad they're they're a little bit of the lesser quality this board is around 60 to 70 bucks so probably the cheapest USB mixing board that you can get so the fact that it's all metal when some of the other ones are plastic and it has plastic knobs doesn't bother me too much. Let's see what we got here. Actually, let's check the back really quick. So here's your USB port. Here's your power O and OFF switch and your AC. All right. And then your first channel, you have XLR in. You have a guitar or line in. And then you have your gain knobs here. You have two EQs, a high and a low. You can pan left to right, and then you have your level knob here as well. Same with your second, and then your third and fourth kind of share. It's kind of not really a four channel. It's more like a three, three and a half channel, but that's all right. You have your main out left and right here, as well as your phone's power LED. This has a 48 volt phantom power with an LED to tell you when it's on. You have your balance here. This is your level knob for your three and four. Main volume knob here. This is your headphone volume. And then also a five LED uh, monitoring there. So pretty nice. I'm gonna be using this with a blue spark, just trying to get my audio up to par a little bit more. But as far as build quality, I'm pretty impressed. It actually looks pretty nice too. It's very shiny, as you probably see with my light bouncing everywhere there. But we're going to plug this in. We're going to see how it how it changes my audio here. Um, I'll probably do a video with my blue snowball versus this baby here and the blue spark. If you got a spark, not smark, um, if you guys are interested. But this is what you get in the box. You get your board, USB cable, um, your <laughs> power cable wow and the instruction booklet so I'll leave links down below if you want to check out different places where you can get information on this and that is it thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video